right. This is Joe Geeson with the wonderful Ted McKenna. Thank you for making it, sir. My pleasure. It was uh, one hell of a drive, but it's yeah. worth it. Good cool. Luck. Yeah. Great. See a few familiar faces yeah. here. Yeah. People I've known over the over the over the period. Yeah. So um, you first crossed paths with Cozy in the Michael Schenker group. Um, I met him, I think, before that. Um, and then when I joined Michael, we played together when he was with White Snake. We yeah. toured the Japan together. Yeah. Uh, but I'll tell you a quick story. Go on. There's a guy called Youth. Yeah. We called him Big Youth. He used to do drums for Cozy. Yeah. And he did my drums for a bit when I joined. And he had these sticks. Yeah. These big st And I thought, where do you get them? What are those? And yeah. see, that's Cozy sticks. That's what he uses on stage. I thought, they'd be really good for practice because, you know, yeah. I like to do a lot of practice. Yeah. So, he gave me them and then eventually I lost them yeah. and I told Cozy that I'd lost them and he came to a gig I was doing yeah. and he brought me another pair right. and then I was touring with Ian Gillen and I was in uh, Germany and I saw you down in Brighton at that gig ah yeah yeah but we were in Germany and we, we did the last gig in Berlin yeah. and we all got a bit wrecked and I left my bag with my other pair of sticks right yeah. so I called Cozy I said you'll never believe this I've lost another pair <laughs> so Cozy got me he just said go to the office yeah. and picks up so I went there and he left me a box wow cool and I've still got some of them I couldn't find them because yeah. I've still got some and I gave a pair of them to someone who admired him a lot Joe Tempesta yeah um, and I gave him a pair of uh, cozy sticks uh, for his birthday so that was really he was made up he was over the moon absolutely wonderful and what are you working on at the moment band of friends we've been uh, We've been playing Europe for the last four years, building up the grassroots, and it's been it's going really, really well. We did quite a lot of big festivals this year. We played with ZZ Top and uh, uh, Boss Pop. We did uh, one with George Thorogood, and we did the uh, Crop Ready Festival, which was brilliant. Cool. So that's going full head, of, you know. And is Alex Harvey band over now? I'd love to say that we could pull something. I've been trying to organise something for ages. Yeah. They're just bringing out a new box set, yeah, which is it. Alex's complete yeah. thing. So I don't know if there was if there was a way I could get the band together, yeah. it would be great. Would whether that, or not they're capable of working with each other yeah. these days. Um, would that would a lot of that come down to Zal? Um, not necessarily, not necessarily. Yeah. No, but it's. Um, I mean, Zal's living in. Uh, he's been living in Cyprus for a while. Right. Although he's, I think he's over here at the moment, and I'm hoping to see him. Right. Shortly. Sure. So. Uh, well, see, he's also, he asked me if I'd be involved in a, uh, an album for, yeah. he's, he's going to do an album. Right. So, we're all, so we're all doing it, and, I, and the band of friends, we've just, we just recorded an album as well. Yeah. So it's all about time, because we're going to go back into the studio yeah. again for a bit more work. But if, um, if it comes to part, I'll see, I'll see Zal hopefully in the next little way, right. and then we'll... And I see, because um, Chris is kicking with his own band a lot as well, isn't he? Yeah, well he does, he doesn't, he plays a he doesn't play a hell of a lot, but he's been doing a bit of work for the last couple of years. Yeah. The out, the out, so uh, was it? The outfit, I think, yeah. Called, but, uh, yeah, so he's doing a bit, yeah. yeah. Cool. And then uh, Hughes, Hughes, he lives in London. Everybody lives in different countries now. They do. Pretty much. Yeah. Anyway, well thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure.